This video will cover how color schemes are applied to product UI using material design tokens. By the end of this video, you'll understand what design tokens are, how they enable teams to apply color consistently, and how they enable products to adopt dynamic color features. Now that you're familiar with the colors that make up a material scheme, you may be wondering how these colors are then applied to UI in a product. Colors are applied using design tokens, which store values for small, repeated design decisions such as a color that make up a design system's visual style. This allows styles to be applied consistently across designs, code, tools, and platforms. A material token consists of a meaningful code-like name and its associated value. Tokens can also reference values from each other. For example, the primary container color role in a material scheme becomes the MD Sys Color Primary Container Token. In a light theme color scheme, this token inherits the value of the associated tonal palette token, MD Ref Palette Primary 90. In a green color scheme, this token in turn has an associated value of hex color number B8F397. Tokens provide two key benefits for products and teams. First, tokens enable consistency. If a designer and engineer both specify the same token in a number of places across the UI, they can be confident that the same color will appear in every instance. This is true even if the associated color is revised. Because tokens can reference each other to inherit a color value, tokens also enable teams to manage and propagate color changes throughout a product or even a suite of products with great control. Second, tokens enable dynamic color features like personal user colors, light and dark themes, and high contrast mode. These features are covered in detail in later videos. Because token colors can change and propagate automatically, teams can specify tokens once and enable their product's colors to adapt with no additional work. 